Hello everyone, I'm Aaron from Paita. Uh, today I'm just going to share with you uh, some information about Paita. Paita is a CAD CAM software. You can see from my screen, uh, Paita allows you to basically have one software to handle from design all the way to production. I'm aware today's sharing session is more towards uh, design, so I'm going to focus on design uh, side for this presentation. So over in Paita, you can see that we have about already 20 customers in Singapore and Malaysia. In Indonesia, we have already have four customers. And the software has been selling worldwide for the past 35 years, but we only entered Asia about six months. And you can see from our customer list, we have a mixture of customers from the consumer, from the retail, even from projects. So like, for example, factories, uh, brands like Tech Hoyer and Birdling, uh, even Unico, H&M, Starbucks, uh, and Victoria's Secret, they're all designed using Python. So you can see from Python, it's a 3D software. We allow you to import SketchUp, but for this demo, I'm just going to import in certain things like a carcass. Okay, so you can see a carcass here. And the difference from Python is that many software can draw a carcass, but in Python, I can do many more things. I can just extend and I can pull this back and immediately I have a interesting shape shelf. I can pull this right side forwards. And now I can even create a partition easily by just copying the left and the right panel. Immediately I have the partition. And you notice that in Python, every single panel is an individual panel. So I do, I'm able to have my exact panel count immediately. This helps you to bridge the gap between designers and producers. Next, I'm just going to copy this carcass to the right in the X direction. Okay, I'm just going to have maybe two more carcass. And what I can do now, I can use commands such as bend, and immediately I can bend this cabinet about the an angle, and you can see now the cabinet bends. If I want it to be round, I can say 32 mm, and what happens here is that we are able to play with this toggle, and you can see I'm able to bend this cabinet. And after bending, if I were to explode this cabinet, there, immediately you have the individual pieces. So I'm just going to undo, and immediately under our generators, you can see things to help you do your work faster. For example, we have shelf generator, you just need to click the front, click the back, immediately you have the shelf generated for you. Okay, you don't need to draw individual blocks, you can change the thickness, you can change the settings here. Everything easily done. Next, you can say drawer. You can just click the front, click the back, and immediately you have the drawer. Okay, sorry, so I'm just going to do the drawer again. Click the front, click the top. Immediately you have the drawers. For the drawers, you can see that I have a dialog box that appears, but most importantly, the drawer box is generated. And you can see from the runner, we can select our hardware, Bloom Tender Box 400, the respective drawer, size will get will be created okay. so this you are able to toggle the drawer size easily without any issues okay next we even have bottle shelf for those who use uh for wine bottles i just click here immediately the bottle shelf generates itself and i can change it to even incline it straight so that it's like a pigeonhole or a shoe rack and I can move this out and you can see the slots are already done so this can be also used for wardrobes okay immediately from here I can do things like adding material I can add a material saying that it's plywood okay and press okay everything and you have the plywood texture okay from here I can go to my four views okay I can immediately put some dimensionings onto it some horizontal dimensions you can't see my dimensions now because my scaling is is not to scale as one is to one i can change my scaling to one is to 15 and 
regenerate this. So let me just regenerate the uh, the dimension lines. Okay, so horizontal again done. Yep, you can see here. So horizontal 600, 600, and over here the overall width. And I'm just going to move this slightly down. And immediately I can go to my plot sheet and you have a 2D drawing. And if I want my section, I just say section vertical and cut, done. So you have the cabinet section for you immediately. So from here, the good thing about Python is live, meaning that, for example, if I just want to make this bigger, okay, so let's say the center, you just want to extend it, okay, we can just extend the center. And we can just drag it out by maybe 200 mm and immediately you can see the 2d drawing updates itself so this is the power of pyta where your 2d and 3d are linked together and you're able to uh, get the drawings up to link together so next let's say if you have an apartment you can import a simple dwg drawing and if you have a library of parts you can easily do things like this Let's say I want a wardrobe here, all I do is drag the wardrobe in, enter the width, the depth, we say 600, and I just click once, click the second point, immediately the system knows that from here to here is 17, I say no, I want two wardrobes, and immediately two wardrobes are created. Okay, if I want a bed here, I can go to my library, same thing, I drag in a bed, just enter the width, any width, I just click the point, two point again, and instead of saying two bits, I say extend this bit. So you can see that immediately you have this bedroom forming up, and now I want a walk in wardrobe, so I just drag one of this in. Same thing, the width, I just press enter, and I click one point, click the next point, and instead of one, I'll say five wardrobe. But what Python allows you to do, Okay, is that from here, if I want to test this hardware, I can even say action. And I'm allow and I'm able to allow my customer to see the walkway, you know, how much space you have and things like that. So with Python doing all these mundane wardrobes and cabinets are very simple. But what else can the software help you to do? For example, if you have a counter. Okay, let's just draw a counter. Okay, and maybe I'll cut out a space here for the brands to put their to put their logo for the company to put the logo and maybe I'll cut out a uh, space in the top for you to put your laptop so all this you can do a very precise dimensioning but <coughs> let's say your customer wants more leg space I can click on the edges I can say move this edge inwards and see immediately having a, a angled shape is no problem for Python Many software you can create this, but what Python can do, two things. We can give you a section, so we can say left to right. Maybe you need six panels, every panel 25. And immediately, if I move this solid away, you have the cross section. Next, Python is able to help you do commands like parallel, and it can say that every panel is 8mm, convert everything to single board. And now, if I were to explode this model, You'll notice that right now we have all the angle and the panel angles are also taken care for you in Python. So you can see that immediately you are able to produce these drawings very easily and very fast. Okay, So this is why we say that for Python, we, it's a software that can easily improve your production, your design process. And this is just only touching on the design. As mentioned, custom other than what happens is that if you do your designs in Python, which we allow you to import from Google Warehouse because we allow SKP imports in, but the key thing is that if your manufacturer or your carpenter is also using Python to build the furniture, there's actually lesser mistakes that you will make because everyone talks with the same file. And actually, once you receive your file, he can immediately cut the panels because the cutting, the part list, for example, for over here, I say part list, and I immediately I will have all my length, width, and thickness of my panel, which I can actually order the material and start to produce. 
So with Python and with your carpenters using Python, you are able to reduce the overall lead time of a project. So to find out more about our software, do visit our YouTube page, Google Python Asia, P-Y-T-H-A, then Asia, A-S-I-A, and you are able to find videos on how Python can handle different complex design processes. Thank you.